Questions about the suspect, including how he got his hands on the guns in the first place, even though he reportedly has a very violent history. Ardelia Gonzalez takes a closer look. The suspect was not licensed to carry, but police recovered three firearms, a semi-automatic rifle left at the church, and two handguns in his car. <laughs> Devin Patrick Kelly should have never happened. The 26-year-old former Air Force member with a reported history of violence towards women and children should have never had guns. Suspect did not have a license to carry. Investigators say he recently texted threats to his former mother-in-law who attends but was not inside the small Baptist church at the time of the shooting. He was even charged with assaulting his ex-wife and his infant stepson, fracturing the baby boy's skull. That landed him a 2012 bad conduct discharge from the Air Force. That's punishment from a court martial or military criminal trial. That means he was not eligible for any military benefits. The suspect served a year in confinement, was demoted, then discharged. But get this, bad conduct discharge is just shy of dishonorable discharge, which automatically bans you from ever buying a gun again. Still, experts suggest his assault charge should have been enough. He bought four weapons in total. Uh, two of them were bought in Colorado, two of them were bought here in Texas. One purchase per year in 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says the suspect was denied a license to carry a gun, but it never stopped him from buying a gun. The governor says, quote, how that got through the cracks, I don't have that information. Delia Gonsalves, W, USA 9. Suspect bought that semi-automatic rifle used in the mass shooting last April. The gun dealer says the suspect passed the criminal background check, and we've just learned the Air Force did not submit Texas church shooters' criminal history to the FBI as required by Pentagon rules. 20